Hey y'all, today I want to talk to you about this Celestron 1.25 inch eyepiece and filter kit. This is a kit you usually get when you buy a Celestron telescope and it either comes with it in a kit or you have to buy it separately. I bought it separately uh, when I bought my telescope on Amazon. It was one of the suggested things that goes with it. So I grabbed it up as it was a little bit cheaper to buy it that way than it was to buy the actual kit. So what this comes with, it comes with seven different filters. It has one filter that is specifically for the moon, and then it has six other filters that are colored. And each of these filters has a specific range and enhancement. They're all laid out on this piece of paper here that they give you. It's very easy. On the back, you know, you got a couple of more uh, descriptions of the three lenses uh, over here. And basically what happens is you just test them out based on these guidelines and take notes. I always suggest you take notes with anything. I've never done this before, but with everything else I do, I take notes. So notes are important. You'll find out that, you know, possibly the blue one works better than the orange one, uh, even though they told you the orange one would work better. So that's why you want to take notes. Um, so you've got red, blue, yellow, orange, light green, and dark green. And basically, each of these is specific to a look of a planet. So if you want to see mountains on a planet, you would use one. If you want to see more of the clouds or the atmosphere or any types of uh, really close-up things, you would adjust your lenses for that because they're going to filter out different types of light and they're going to also enhance things. So when you use those, you want to keep this paper handy, but this is not the gospel because I guarantee you as you use these, you're going to find that some of this stuff is good but you're gonna probably find that you discover a lot of things about these lenses that they don't tell you about. So what we'll do is I'll describe these as we go through them here. These are the eyepieces that you use on the telescope. The telescope itself comes with an eyepiece. This is an extra set. We start down here at the smallest six millimeter and it goes all the way up to this one, which is labeled on the side as a 32 millimeter. And what you wanna do is remember the bigger the eyepiece, the wider your field of view. So if you're wanting to just take a big picture of the Milky Way, and maybe a timed exposure, you want to go with these big ones. If you're wanting to zoom in on something, um, once you find it, you can change your eyepiece out and put the smaller eyepiece in, re-zoom, re-center what you're looking at, and then basically go from there. And you'll actually be able to find things easier with this and then work your way down to the detail and the fine work that you want to do with the smaller one. Now, if you want to really enhance your uh, magnification, this is a Barlow lens. A Barlow lens basically it uh, takes the point of light and it just kind of pulls it out a little bit towards the end of the lens. And that basically fools the telescope into thinking that it's got two times magnification just by using specific lenses in here. And it's just like any of the eyepieces. It has a little slip on the end, a little set screw, and then it kind of just piggybacks on the back of any of these other lenses to enhance the magnification by 2x. So if you're using something that's a 13 millimeter, it's going to make, uh, I would imagine it make it behave like a 26 millimeter eyepiece. So that's basically my review of that. Um, it's a review because I haven't used it yet. It's not really a real review. It's just basically an unboxing and an overview. And uh, after I figure out how all these work with the telescope, I'll do another video and I'll kind of describe the differences I see and, and you know, tell you guys if uh, you know there's one lens you should really be using above all the others and one filter you should be using above all the others for general viewing or looking at specific things. So I uh, appreciate you watching this and I hope we all learn together and I'm uh, looking forward to sharing some cool stuff with you as soon as we get this set up here Tuesday or Wednesday of next week. So hit subscribe, hit the little bell down at the bottom there and you'll keep all of our videos coming and you'll be able to watch everything as it goes and experience this with me. So take care.